The F-35 Lightning II is the most advanced aircraft in the United States Air Force. It has cutting-edge technology that allows it to be a stealthy aerial predator, capable of evading the vast majority of radar and anti-aircraft systems. Even if the F-35 was visible to radar systems, it can lock onto and destroy enemy targets located far outside its detection range. This has put the aircraft in high regard not only with the American military, but also with the rest of the world, as the Lightning II's export prospects expand further each year. Today, we'll get to know the most technologically advanced fighter in the world, the F-35 Lightning II. Join us in this latest installment of Fierce, Fire, and Fury. On January 27, 1994, the United States military established the Joint Strike Fighter Program. With it, the U.S. Air Force wanted to develop a platform that could replace several tactical aircraft, both from the United States and for the United Kingdom, including the F-16 Fighter Falcon, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, the F-A-18 Hornet in its A and D variants, the Harrier II, and the Tornado. After a competition between the Boeing X-32 and the Lockheed Martin X-35 prototypes, a final design based on the latter was chosen. Thus, the F-35 Lightning II was born, a multi-role, single-seat, single-engine, all-weather fighter created to carry out attack and air superiority missions. Key aspects of the F-35 are its mission systems and stealth capability. In terms of avionics, the F-35 was specifically designed to serve as a data center, absorbing information from numerous targets and to develop the most robust situational awareness setup of any fighter pilot in the air. Its components include every state-of-the-art system needed by the best stealth fighter jet in the sky. The F-35's active, electronically scanned array radar is its cornerstone providing unparalleled battle space awareness for all air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions. The integration of the Barracuda Electronic Warfare System protects the F-35 with long-range threat warnings, self-protection countermeasures, and targeting support, as well as provides 360-degree, full-spectrum situational awareness and rapid response capabilities, allowing the F-35 to evade, engage, counter, and jam threats while at the same time reaching well-defended targets. Thanks to the distributed aperture system from Raytheon, an F-35 pilot's helmet-mounted display provides the aviator with 360-degree awareness, showing real-time, high-resolution imagery from six infrared cameras mounted around the aircraft directly on the helmet's visor. The F-35's electro-optical targeting system allows the pilot to precisely deliver laser and GPS-guided weapons. Last but not least, the Communications, Navigation, and Identification Suite provides the pilot with operational functions such as Identification Friend or Foe, or IFF, allowing the pilot to track the locations of teammates and adversaries. These integrated systems create the maximum capacity for situational awareness. The plane knows everything happening around it, even at great distances. Most impressively, the aircraft transfers all its knowledge directly to the pilot's helmet, which alone costs $400,000. This helmet not only provides oxygen and protection to the pilot, but also displays all information collected by the aircraft's sensors directly over the pilot's eyes through the use of augmented reality. Thus, the aviator remains completely aware of everything that happens both inside and outside the aircraft, without having to look down at a monitor. The pilot simply has to look in a direction to see on the helmet shield what is around the aircraft. This includes looking behind and through the aircraft. Pilots can look through the floor of the cockpit and see the airspace around the plane projected on their shield. This provides three-dimensional perception for several miles. The technology in the helmet is so advanced that the F-35's targeting system uses optical recognition so that if a pilot wants to fire a weapon at an enemy behind him, he can do so and the weapons will follow the direction of the pilot's eyes. This can happen during the day or night as infrared and night vision technology allows for amazing clarity. However, the most crucial aspect of the F-35's design is its stealth capability. The radar cross-section of the F-35 is minimized through careful configuration of the airframe, 
and the use of radar-absorbent materials. The radar cross-section of the F-35 has been characterized as lower than the size of a golf ball. Visible measures to achieve this include edge alignment, serration of skin panels, and masking of the engine and turbine face. Another important aspect of this aircraft is its ability to perform different types of takeoffs and landings. The F-35 can take off on a long-run or short-run airstrip, and even vertically in its variation designed specifically for takeoffs and landings on aircraft carriers. The F-35 stands 14 feet tall, is 51 feet long, and has a wingspan of 35 feet. It weighs 30,000 pounds empty and 50,000 pounds with a basic load. However, the F-35's maximum takeoff weight is 70,000 pounds, which provides a large capacity to carry bombs and missiles. Its power plant is a Pratt & Whitney F-135 turbofan engine with 43,000 pounds of thrust, fed by an internal fuel capacity of 18,500 pounds. The F-35 can travel over 1,350 miles, or forever if it continues to refuel mid-flight. Its maximum flight ceiling is 60,000 feet, with a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, or nearly 1,200 miles per hour at that height. The Lightning II's armament consists of a 25mm caliber equalizer Gatling gun, with a rate of fire of 3,300 shots per minute. It has four pylons and an internal cargo hold that can carry air-to-air -air missiles as well as GPS and laser-guided bombs. It can carry weapons on external pylons. However, as a stealth fighter, it is less likely to use external projectiles because these underwing missiles can generate a radar or infrared signature that can reveal the position of the plane. The F-35's shape and composition of its fuselage were designed to optimize its health, helping make the aircraft virtually invisible to radar and anti-aircraft systems. Its body is made up of various materials, including cryogenically machined titanium, to improve the airframe's life and durability. Between its stealth capacity, its incredible avionics, and its ability to carry nuclear projectiles, the F-35 Lightning II is the most dangerous, multi-purpose fighter in production. It will eventually replace a majority of American fighter jets, as well as fighter jets used by several NATO member countries. One drawback to the F-35 is that when entering supersonic speed, its engine emits a noticeable radar signature, which is why, at lower altitudes, it is recommended that the plane does not accelerate to such high speeds, or it risks losing its stealth as a defense. This can make the F-35 susceptible to elite anti-aircraft detection systems like the Russian S-400, but also to any missile with infrared target-seeking technology. Manufacturer Lockheed Martin has claimed that the F-35's radar footprint is similar to that of a golf ball, which seems extremely small considering the aircraft's wing area alone is 460 feet. But with the F-22 having a radar footprint the size of a marble, it might be seen as a step backwards in terms of engineering. While the radar footprint has generated a logical concern for some countries, it has not been the only problem that the F-35 has seen on the international market. For example, the German parliament did not welcome the F-35's integration into the Luftwaffe because the politicians feared that these fighter jets, which can deliver nuclear weapons, would be seen as a provocation by countries like Russia and China, and that the shadow of a nuclear war would once again threaten Europe. However, this reaction is also one of the many examples that demonstrate the F-35 Lightning II's threatening character. It's created both passions for and against its existence and use and it spearheaded the development of a new generation of fighter technology in the West. Have a question or a perspective to share? Drop it in the comments section below. If you found this video as intriguing as we did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more thought-provoking content. Thank you very much for joining us for this video. See you next time on Fierce, Fire, and Fury.